Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, I've got a very, very bullish crypto update for you today, especially with my favorite coin, XRP and Ripple. Guys, you know, secret meetings taking place at the White House back in 2018. Unbelievable stuff, you know, world uh, reserve currency stuff. Just mind blown. All right. And I know there's a lot of people out there who probably think, oh, that's old news. But I'm bringing it up because there's always new people coming into this space. And this is the whole point that I love documenting this because there's always going to be someone new coming into this space. And uh, this is something I wanted to talk about. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's get into it as uh, all the news today, guys. Let's get straight to it. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys absolutely rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff i do not want to see anyone get financially hurt that is why my number one golden rule is i only invest what i can afford to lose and yes we don't like to lose you can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto all right so please be careful out there do your own research and due diligence this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only all right ladies and gentlemen let's get straight into it today because there's a lot to get through but the community tab old coins up at seven o'clock this morning i had gas casper sologenic Neo and Luna 2.0, I believe that is as well. So it's Luna 2.0, all right? So I do hold that. I got airdropped it pretty much from holding Luna Classic last year or whenever it was, all right? So that's it. Now, let's quickly go through CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, guys. There is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin, of course. Do your own research. Now, all of these prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to US dollars because I'm catering for everybody around the world and my Aussie fans, all right? Now, Bitcoin sitting at $31,000 today, up nearly 2%, all right? Straight up. I said yesterday in my video that the coins will go up. This is what happens, all right? Bitcoin is still holding at 31000 Australian dollars, around 19000 USD. I've been saying this is the bottom. It is for me, all right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. All right, so Ethereum, 2200 which is nice. I'm getting back up to when I bought Ethereum. And it's nice to see that back up in the greens, nearly 4.2%. We've got XRP, 75 cents, guys. Still incredibly bullish. I'm going to play you a clip on Twitter as well with Jeremy Hogan. Unbelievable stuff, all right? So Cardano's at 58 cents. Moving down, you've got Matic at $1.45. Dot is at $9. Shiba Inu as well, guys, 1.42%. I was on TikTok last night. I saw some guy that bought this basically when it was a Reddit meme coin. Uh, he put $2,000 into it. Then it went up to six, uh, some stupid, I can't remember the percentage, right? 60,000%. He would have made $1 billion. Just saying, he was crying in the video. <laughs> anyway, poor bloke. Uh, that's full on. Uh, anyway, I'm still holding my sheep in you. And I've actually made some pretty good gains as well because I bought it before. It just went parabolic with all that stuff with Vitalik and whatever else. Anyway, Link's $11. You've got XLM at $0.18. Cents. You've got Nier at $4.84. Algorand's at $0.50. Cents. Quant, $286. Uh, it's still in a very good buying opportunity, in my opinion. It will hit that $200 US dollar mark again very easily. VeChain is at $0.03 cents as well. Luna Classic is up, which is nice. Hedera at $0.09. Cents, still undervalued. Moving down, Aave, 144 Mana and Sandbox. Basically, meh. Very mid projects at the moment. I do hold them though in the portfolio, straight up. Uh, Theta's $1.64. You've got Axe Infinity at $14. I'm very bullish on Axe Infinity. Play to earn games. I've got Star Atlas, you know, in the portfolio. <clears throat> Excuse me, Gala Games as well. Very, very bullish on these play to earn games. I think they're going to make a massive comeback. Uh, IOTA's at $0.40. Cents. Neo, again, a very undervalued gem at $13. Again, I, w I bought this when it was like the peak of the market, right? Stupid thing. This is what happens, all right? So at $13, I was buying this at like $90 or $80, just to put that in perspective, all right? So when I see people saying, oh, the prices now are expensive, guys, I was buying this at freaking $80, $90 for Neo. Come on, Aussie dollars. Anyway, so everything's cheap for me now. So uh, $0.12 cents for the graph, that one is a gem. Just saying, look it up. 
Web3, Casper as well, up 8% to 7 cents. Where else have we got here, guys? Engine at 68 cents and XDC just under 5 cents, guys. 4.9 uh, four, four, cents. Still doing very well. Uh, and we've got Reef as well, which is a gem, down 2.59%. Alliance block as well. Let's have a look at that. It's up nearly 5% today, 11 cents. That's very, very nice. And of course, XYO, a gem in my opinion, guys. I got in this very early, made some nice profits. Now let's go to Crypto Bubbles. Before I do that, guys, join the Wall Street Bull Patreon University right here. Straight up. It's the university for serious investors. No joke. I put up my buys, my sells in there. Love the community. I love talking with everyone in there in the private messages as well. So guys, join up. It's linked below. You will not regret it. Let's go into crypto bubbles to see what's happening on the day. Then we're going to get into some pretty crazy news. Now, on the day, biggest gainer is Clay. No idea what this is, guys. Not really interested in Clayton right there. 26%, 25% on the week. We've got Casper as well. Very bullish on Casper. It is part of the you know, whole ISO 222 coins. It is a banking coin. 65% uh, of the month. Cannot complain about that. What else you got here, guys? APT is actually doing something here, guys. I mean, there's a lot happening with this, guys. It's still up 8.2% on the uh, day and 15% on the week, 26% on the month, 26% on the year, right? It's a new project. Not really interested in it, but for those of you who have bought it, good on you. You're up on your money, which is, you know, a good thing. Matic as well. Did I just cover that? I think I did as well. Neo. Guys, I just want to point out as well, I mean, 48 US dollars was around 75 uh, Aussie. So again, $8 at the moment. I'm very bullish on NEO. You do earn passive income on CoinSpot from holding NEO. You get paid gas, which is like, you know, to run the network. So it's pretty much like free income. Don't, can't complain about that. Now, crazy stuff right here. And yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of people that know about this, but some of you actually don't as well. But Brad Garlinghouse met with two White House uh, officials on two different occasions. So two years ago, the CEO Brad of, of sorry, Brad Garlinghouse of Ripple met with special assistant of to President Trump on two different occasions. As the image illustrates below, Brad Garlinghouse met with Caroline Moore on September 20th, 2018. Right there, guys, you can see that. That's the actual ledger there for the meeting, Brad Garlinghouse. And you can see here, he went to the White House on two occasions, on the 9th and the 10th, uh, which is really interesting as well. 6.30 in the morning and 4.30 p.m. Very, very interesting, right? So Caroline E. Moore serves as a special assistant to the president, director of office and chief of staff. What is the role of special assistant to the president? So, um, you know, what I'm trying to say, guys, you know, you, a crypto company like Ripple wouldn't go meeting with the president of the United States if some serious SHIT wasn't going down in terms of adoption. I'm just saying. So, obviously, guys, the roles of this guy, uh, this person here, Caroline, uh, at the you know, at the White House, obviously, guys, so he or she will attend meetings on behalf of the president as well as be involved in all aspects of the operations of DevEx. This role will require close coordination with the entire executive leaderships of Dev DevEx and the team members of all international uh, offices right here. You don't have to know everything about international development. I think the names are like the World Bank, United Nations, CARE, the Gates Foundation, uh, but a passion to learn is absolute must right here. Why would the CEO of a fintech firm be asked to come to the White House to discuss international developments right here? It is no secret that the World Bank has praised Ripple and their efforts. The World Bank uh, heaped praises on distributed ledgers, in particular Ripple, and called Ripple's X Rapid as a potentially transformational technology right here. Macro Nikolai, Nikolai the World Bank and senior financial sector specialist right here, wrote a report saying, these shortcomings make the cross-border payment industry ripe for uh, disruption and innovation. Some see distributed ledger technologies, DLT, as having the potential to drive industry-wide change, indeed B2B cross-border payments, traditionally characterized by uh, fragmentation and uh, OPC right here, guys, are potential use case for the successful implementation of DLT. Using DLT solutions could also bring down compliance costs and improve transparency and traceability of transfers. This could help ease the impact of de-risking phenomenon that has affected the remittance services industry over the past few years. Increasing transparency transactions could increase the confidence of the banking sector and remittances industry. Further, DLT solutions could potentially bypass de-risking issue altogether by enabling remittance service providers to operate with the need uh, for a correspondent banking relationship. Anyway, 
Look at this. So we all know that Ripple teamed up with the Gates Foundation back in 2017, taken from Ripple Insights article. However, the new collaboration supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation will change that Ripple in partnership with uh, Dewalla, Motorsbox Software Group and Cross uh, Cross Lake Technologies with funding and support from the Gates Foundation developed the new open source software called Mojaloot for creating real-time interoperable payments platform on a national scale to reach the world's poor and essential financial tools. A new interoperable system will bring the poor into the global economy. Full on. Full on, guys. So Caroline Moore. So I just wanted to bring that up. I know it's old news, but it's still relevant. And it just brings me to my next point, all right? So this is a very, very bullish medium article by Mark Phillips. I can link it below. You guys can have a read of this. So XRP will be a world reserve currency, all right? And it just makes you wonder. They're meeting at the White House with the president's, you know, number one right-hand person, you know, meeting with some of the biggest world banks and leaders. It's a no freaking brainer. I mean, really, when you think about it, and it makes you wonder that, you know, the SEC has gone after them because they can't control Ripple and XRP. They just can't. And all of this stuff with the lawsuit that's come out now, I mean, this is going to be changing the whole narrative about XRP. Not only that, it's going to be innovating all of crypto and giving crypto this, you know, massive leg up. This is how big this is with this lawsuit going on at the moment. All right. So anyway... I'm just going to scroll down here, guys, because this is a very long art or medium article. And again, medium is incredible as well. But I just want to perfect, uh, point this out, all right? So XRP is perfectly positioned to serve as the world's reserve currency. It can be held in significant quantities to provide liquidity for foreign exchange reserves, international transactions and investments, and all other uses throughout a global economy. In an earlier article, XRP was designed for $10,000. I quoted Ripple Labs co-founder Arthur Brito, who wrote, XRP must be scalable to accommodate 7.5 billion people. Does this mean that it was designed to be used by every human on the planet and serve as a world reserve currency? Yes and yes. Just let that one sink in, guys. Let's look at XRP's ability to scale. As its creation... A total of 100 billion XRP were created. No more can ever be created. So it is a, dis a deflationary in nature, guys. Setting aside uh, the fact that some of these XRP have been burnt or lost, 100 billion XRP at $10,000 value per XRP would provide one quadrillion in total value. This is enough to easily account for 244 trillion global debt, Bloomberg, as well as $88 trillion of global GDP. Statista right here, but it's very nature. XRP is highly liquid. With fast transaction and settlement times, it is uh, also inexpensive to use. If it is used for a de facto reserve currency, there is no need to exchange it for fiat currency. Uh, though this is easy to do across multiple currencies and payment networks via the Interledger protocol. XRP will be the reserve currency and it will be used to pay off debt. I mean, just just have a look at this. I mean, this is all for those people that say, oh, for 10,000. You have no idea what how big Ripple is going to be. I'm just saying. All right, those of you who don't know and are not educated on it, go and have a read about it, what it's actually built for. All right, then come back to me and say that, you know, the, the the prices predictions that people have put out and like even Jimmy Val, you know, ten to fifty thousand dollars for one XRP. I mean, come on, it's going after the entire global financial system for cross border payments. I mean, it's just mental. Anyway, very very bullish. Now, obviously, we've got David Schwartz explains why he's not leaving Ripple, uh, which is really interesting as well. I'm going to scroll down here and see if I can actually find that tweet. But Let's have a look here, guys. In his recent tweet, David Schwartz, Ripple Chief Technology Offer, has signaled, oh, sorry, that he is not willing to leave the company. Schwartz says he would uh, would kind of like starting a new project from scratch. The executive says uh, that there are a lot of new things here that he would like to work on. However, he doesn't want to make it a merely uh, perfect perfunctory effort right here, which is interesting as well. Schwartz confessed that he no longer has the passion necessary to kick off a new major project. Ripple's trillion dollar man, who is an architect behind the XRP ledger, says that he doesn't feel like working for 50 hours per week, not for the next two years. I just don't feel up to it anymore, he said, because he's created the number one, the chosen one. We know this. So good on you, David Schwarzenegger. Anyway, Cardano founder slams XRP community over spreading conspiracy theories regarding, excuse me, regarding the SEC case. 
Charles, man, what are you doing? So Charles, the founder of decentralized finance company Cardano, has once again delved into the criticisms regarding the, his comments on the ongoing case between Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission. In particular, Hoskinson's has challenged the XRP community to stop spreading conspiracy theories regarding the ongoing case. He said during an interview with YouTuber BitBoy on October 21st, it is worth noting that Hoskinson was subjected to an online backlash from the XRP enthusiasts on Twitter after he stated that Ripple is under the SEC investigation due to the lack of clear regulations. What can I say? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to get into a full-blown article about that. Crypto whales and key Bitcoin stakeholders aggressively accumulating Bitcoin around 20,000. Again, I honestly believe this as well. Whales are accumulating Bitcoin in Binance. Since Bitcoin price hit $20,000 level, Binance spot trading volume dominance skyrocketed and is now 84%. The second biggest is Coinbase at 9%. Not sure whether these whales are institutions using prime brokers or crypto OGs, original gangsters for now. Unbelievable. I know, again, I'm telling you, whales are buying. This is that Apto coin as well, surges more than 30% following a wave of short liquidations. Be careful with this stuff. I'm just putting it in here, guys, for that point. Just be careful, all right? Don't go buying the hype because it's going to come crashing back down and people will lose money, all right? So I'm just saying. Now, CryptoMeter.io, you've got money going into ADA, Ethereum at the time of recording, Solana. You've got Quant, which is nice, near protocol, Doge, Bitcoin, and we do not have any banking coins there at the moment. Now, I'm going to go to Twitter. I'm going to play some pretty crazy stuff right here. Now, and uh, I did put a tweet up uh, a tweet up earlier as well with a video, but let's have a look here. Fury and Greed Index is sitting at 23 right now. Pre-funding destination accounts eliminated, working capital unlocked. This is Tranglo. Let's have a quick listen to this, guys. Hopefully this video doesn't get banned from the music, but have a look. My name is Jackie Lee. I'm the group CEO of Tranglo. Our head office is based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We have offices in Singapore, London, Dubai, and Jakarta with a total of 180 employees. Tranglo works as a payment aggregator for our partners who are licensed remittance company, financial institution, and e-money players. We also onboard corporate customers and individual customers to make global payment quickly and securely. We look forward to work with any global payment partners who can support fiat and XRP settlement. We also actively look for corporate customers who are specialized in gig economy and licensed crypto exchanges. With RippleNet Wallet Send features, we are able to strengthen our cash flow position, moving funds quickly and securely at a lower cost compared to our existing banking. Absolute bullishness right there. This is an interview. Oh, sorry, an interview here, guys. I found this on TikTok last night, but guys, have a listen. This is going to apply to all crypto investors. All right? I'm just saying, have a quick listen to this because learn how to manage money before money manages you all right absolute facts look at look at this somebody's gonna die happy if i had 400 million dollars it's like you think you could handle that responsibility do you like you're so sure of that you can't even control your household budget you live from paycheck to paycheck now you, somebody's gonna dump a treasure on your steps and that's gonna fix your life it's like okay how much are you gonna give to your relatives like none oh that'll work out real well too much so then you're going to take away their responsibility from them are you and you're going to get that balance exactly right and then what are you going to do with that money because as soon as you got the money the parasites are going to come in and take your money it happens quickly believe me it happens unbelievably quickly yeah. you know you'll see well the average family fortune lasts three generations mm -hmm. that's all because money sitting around not being carefully monitored it's like water it just it's, 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 it's Facts, in ladies and gentlemen. Fool is easily money. You need to learn how to manage money, all right? Because again, there's going to be a lot of parasites that are going to come after our crypto investments. I'm telling you right now, the tax man, family, friends, you name it, it's coming. Now, digital asset investor and Jeremy Hogan, thank you for this. I just want to play this as well. Say that Garling House's you could say that Garling House's tweet was a declaration of war and declarations of war, as history tell us, tells us, are always made from places of strength. Go look it up. Anyway, crazy stuff right there. Facial recognition as well, guys, in Saudi Arabia. Full on. This is happening around the world. And guys, this is all going to be implemented and tied in with CBDCs. Look at that. 
scary scary stuff man what's happening uh i'm not going to play this one because it's six minutes long but this is basically an explanation of the best one of bitcoin how it works of all time now um this is crazy right here info wars um obviously this is alex jones right here someone called into his show about xrp guys have a listen to this it's going to blow your mind let me know in the comments below what you think about this all right it's day that financial reset and then you miss the mark i i think well sir lay it on us you got three minutes okay today is going to be the day that alex jones is going to announce xrp global reserve currency it's the fourth one down the line it's not so shiny i think it's being manipulated by by force to be quite honest with you but xrp make no mistake about it will be the global reserve currency there's a channel you and your viewers need to pay attention to it's called digital asset investor he's on youtube they're going to take over swift completely and entirely and for it to do that it's going to go from 25 cents to probably 2500 dollars. i'm not making price predictions here but i know what this is because i've been studying it for about four and a half years it makes transactions in three seconds free of charge there has been $30 million sent through the internet, through, through the uh, XRP system, and it landed in three seconds and it cost the guy less than 30 cents. I think it was actually $50 million. This connects all the way up to Donald J. Trump through his son-in-law, through his daughter, okay? Uh, I can tell you for sure that Brad Garlinghouse has been at the White House visiting with Donald J. Trump on numerous occasions, okay? Chip, the, the, the chip was the system is going to be the one that Gates wants to put out, which is a vaccine, a cryptocurrency, and a chip where they control you. XRP is actually one of the good guys. It's the, the less of the... Oh, anyway, let that one sink in for a moment, guys. That's it for today on Twitter. There's, there's a lot of uh, SHIT going on on there. Um, so hopefully I don't get banned off YouTube for that. But full on, all right? You can't discredit and believe that XRP wasn't the chosen one, all right? You wouldn't be having meetings at the White House, that's for sure. $942 billion in total USD, $43 billion in total volume, 39% BTC, 17% Ethereum. Let's go to my core portfolio, guys. And again, the ones that are up in my portfolio are Gas, Casper, Matic, Neo, DAG, CKB, Luna 2.0, Solo, and T Fuel. And again, let's go to my watch this right here, guys, because this is where it's at. All right, straight up. Ethereum, I hold it. Maybe selling it, I don't know. XRP for sure, Cardano, AVAX, Link, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, Casper, XDC, and Alliance Block. That's where my money is going straight up, all right? Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you for sticking around this long. I appreciate every single one of you watching this long. Make sure you follow me on all social media guys down below and join the Patreon. We'll speak to you tomorrow and in the comments, all right? Peace out, bye.